Before we get started, we'd like to talk a little bit about who Panorama Consulting Group is. We are a niche consulting firm that focuses exclusively on the ERP marketplace. We provide three primary consulting offerings to our clients. The first is ERP software evaluation and selection. Second is ERP implementation project management. And third is ERP organizational change management and benefits realization. We have depth in a number of targeted industries, including manufacturing, distribution, supply chain, and high growth companies. And perhaps most importantly, we are ERP vendor independent and neutral. So today's discussion is very much based on a technology agnostic view of the marketplace. Our broad and deep ERP expertise encompasses experience with over 100 different ERP software solutions, including obviously Microsoft Dynamics being one of them. Uh, In addition, we've worked with a number of other tier one solutions like SAP and Oracle. Uh, We've also worked with a number of tier two solutions including J.D. Edwards, Fujitsu, QAD, and Infor. And the point of this slide is not to demonstrate every single ERP software vendor we've worked with, uh, but just to provide you a partial list with some of the solutions we have experience with, both on the software selection side of things as well as on the implementation side. So diving right into the benchmark research that we'd like to review uh, regarding Microsoft Dynamics, first of all, we'd like to talk a little bit about Panorama's ERP study. And what Panorama Consulting did between 2005 and through the end of 2008 is we conducted surveys of over 1,300 organizations across the globe that had recently implemented ERP solutions, including Microsoft Dynamics. In addition to the quantitative surveys, we also augmented that data with qualitative information that we gathered via deep dive interviews with some sampling of the organizations within the study. And we looked at companies of all different sizes, ranging from small and mid-size organizations all the way on up to multi-billion dollar global organizations as well. And we also looked at organizations that implemented a variety of ERP solutions, ranging from tier one solutions like SAP and Oracle, uh, ranging all the way through uh, tier two and niche industry focused solutions as well. So it's very much, it's very uh, broad and deep uh, level of data that we've got to work with here that we'll be discussing in today's presentation. So the first uh, reference point that we'd like to look at as it relates to Microsoft Dynamics is how the market share of Microsoft products compared to the market share of other ERP solutions in the marketplace. Based on our study, we found that Microsoft Dynamics, which includes Exapta, Navision, and Great Plains, uh, encompasses about 14% of the ERP market space. And this is not based on revenue or number of licensees, but the number of organizations that have selected and implemented um, the Microsoft products you can see that the the remaining 86% is split between SAP, Oracle, and Tier 2 solutions. Now, one thing that's common in Microsoft Dynamics implementations, as it is the case with other ERP solutions as well, is that most ERP implementations take longer than expected, cost more than expected, and fail to deliver at least half of the business benefits that were expected. So you can see here, based on the data on this slide, that uh, 93% take longer than expected, 65% cost more than expected, and 79% fail to deliver at least half of the business benefits. And again, these data points are based on our research uh, and study of over 1,300 different implementations across the globe. Now, if we break down the data a little bit more and look at implementation duration, we see that Microsoft does pretty well uh, compared to other uh, software vendors in the marketplace. The average implementation duration, which includes the time to evaluate, select, and implement the software, averages 18 months for Microsoft Dynamics products, uh, which is about close to a full two months less than the industry average and uh, uh, a few months less than some of the the other Tier 1 solutions as well. Um, The one downside with Microsoft on the implementation duration is the fact that the quartile deviation, which you see at the bottom of your screen, Um, is actually the highest for Microsoft Dynamics. And what that means is the predictability or the variation in the data uh, surrounding implementation duration actually varies more for Microsoft than than other products. So while that average is below the industry average, the variability um, between the data uh, is is fairly high compared to other vendors. Now, if we look at implementation costs, this is really Microsoft's uh, strength and probably their biggest strength that we've identified in our study. The average total cost of ownership for the initial investment in Microsoft Dynamics products uh, is 2.6 million. And this number reflects not just software licensees, not just technical implementation services, but it also includes hardware upgrades, uh, internal costs associated with staffing the project, uh, et cetera. 
and that 2.6 million is considerably less than the industry average of 8.5 million. Now, however, Microsoft products are typically implemented by smaller to mid-sized companies, especially if we compare Microsoft to SAP and Oracle. So if we normalize the data a little bit and look at the total cost as a percentage of revenue of the implementing companies, Microsoft still fares the best of all the leading ERP solutions uh, at 5%, um, which is considerably lower than tier two, other Tier 2 solutions as well as SAP and Oracle, and certainly uh, almost half of the industry average of uh, 9%. The other interesting point about this data is that while on the previous slide we discussed that implementation duration uh, variation was actually pretty high, when we look at the variance or the var variability of implementation cost data, uh, Microsoft Dynamics actually has a very narrow range that uh, most companies implement within. So you can see that the variance uh, between the different quartiles is less than uh, 0.5 million, basically less than half a million dollars. Um, and that variance is certainly uh, quite a bit less than some of the other uh, products that you see here. Now, if we look at ERP solution satisfaction and benefits realization of the companies in our study, we see that Microsoft fares pretty well here as well. Um, they rate up slightly above average for the overall benefits factor, which is the percentage of uh, companies that realize at least some of the business benefits that they'd expected. When we look at executive satisfaction, Microsoft does score a little bit less or lower than the industry average. But when we look at employee satisfaction and the overall satisfaction composite, both of those numbers are higher than the industry average. And in fact, employee satisfaction is the highest for Microsoft Dynamics uh, compared to any of the other products in our study. Now, when we look at the business risk, uh, this is an area where uh, there certainly is a trade-off with Microsoft. We, we talked about some of the advantages of uh, implement, actual implementation costs uh, being lower than average, actual implementation durations being lower than average. But when we look at the business risk, Microsoft Dynamics is actually uh, a bit higher than other solutions, which, which is generally perceived as, as a negative. And what this statistic here suggests is that 57.7% of Microsoft implementations experience some type of operational uh, interruption, a material operational interruption at the time of go live. So either the company couldn't ship product or couldn't close their bu books in a timely fashion or some other operational disruption within the, the system. Now part of this is is due to the fact that it's a lot of small and mid-sized companies that are implementing the product and uh, they, they have IT organizations that are perhaps not as sophisticated or knowledgeable of what it takes to implement ERP appropriately. So that is part of what's driving up uh, this number for Microsoft Dynamics, and it's probably more so that than a reflection of the software itself, but certainly something to be aware of. So if we were to summarize what we found in our benchmark study uh, as it relates to Microsoft Dynamics, we, we found that uh, Microsoft Dynamics has a number three market share uh, trailing only SAP and Oracle uh, in our study. Uh, there is a shorter duration, uh, shorter average implementation duration, but a high level of variability. Uh, the sh shortest average low, uh, the average, the, the lowest average cost, which is also predictable and consistent, and uh, about average uh, benefits realization, satisfaction, and, and uh, slightly above average business risk. So the summary then is low and predictable cost and duration, but average satisfaction.